Hello everyone and welcome back for another edition of 8 Minutes with Aaron. I'm of course your host Aaron and today we are going to do something that I promised in our last video. We got the Mites Gate! And we will shine that light on this bad boy and see that glow. So let's get wrong with this fresh dish of 8 Minutes with Aaron. You know, I really should have said, let's pop these eight gates tight with eight minutes with Aaron. That would have been a lot better in the opening, but let's just skip to the glow. I'm going to turn off the lights and let's get this party started. All right, we are going to shine this rock lead because this is what we were waiting for, the glow on this Funko Pop. I have seen a couple pictures online and in my other video, I had posts uh, some in the corner that did have the shining on it. So hopefully this is going to have as awesome as a glow as we did see in the picture prior. If not, we'll just complain to Chalice Collectibles and let them know how shitty of a job they did. All right, here we go in three, two, one. I'm looking in my screen over here. Here we go. Oh, all right, that's that's pretty cool. I love the green brightness in his eyes. I know it's not really dark around him, but I can see the flames around him are glowing a little bit. Uh, I'm not... You know, look, the glow in the dark things, they're hit or miss. This is obviously in the mid. So let's turn those lights on and get started with the more episode of 8 Minutes with Aaron. We can continue with this amazing episode. <laughs> and we are going to also open a Funko Pop right now. So everybody just stay where you are. Don't move because the box is right here. Oh, I remembered where the box was. Yes. Hey. I opened it on the opposite side, so I do not know what it is. Let's open this Funko Pop up and have him join the 8 Minutes with Aaron party. One, two, hello! Oh! It's Super Saiyan Rose! Or you can call him Goku Black. He's actually Super Saiyan Rose because that was his kind of like blue form in my opinion. You know, he really couldn't go Super Saiyan, but then he kind of had the pink hair version. So. Let's just say that's his Super Saiyan Blue category kind of thing. Now, uh, Goku Black is evil. It is really Zamzu. Zamzu used the uh, huge ass Dragon Balls or the Universal Dragon Balls to wish uh, to swap bodies with Goku. And it was a whole big shabam shaboozle. Uh, he came down, killed everyone on the alternate planet. Because what happened was there was kind of like three planets. If you remember back to when Trunks screwed everything up. So he kind of created two alternate universes. So there was one Zamazu in the real present zone with Goku. Then there was another one that Zamazu just came through all of a sudden to get Goku's body. And then there was a third one where Goku uh, was destroying the shit out of Trunks in the future's planet and everything like that. That's what prompted Trunks to go back in time and tell everybody that Goku in the future is killing everybody. What's his problem? And, you know, Zamazu was a pretty husky character. You know, we just got off of the uh, Dragon Ball uh, Super movie with Frieza. And then it kind of snowballed into the, I guess, the Black Goku arc. And it was pretty decent. And, and, and everyone saw it and was freaking out about it, saying, oh, man, Goku could be evil or something like that. Who would have thought that it would have been a wish on the Dragon Balls? Well, they did do it in a GT to make him a little kid. But, you know, I have no qualms about the whole saga. Goku Black was just Zamazu in Goku's body. There's not much to say uh, other than that. You know, he did some kind of fusions. He had some kind of pink energy, kind of like uh, Vegeta's blue sword. He could pink sword through you. He had all of Goku's moves because, hey, he's in Goku's body. However, Vegeta did find out pretty soon that the only reason that you can fight like Goku may be because you're in Goku's body, but you cannot Fight like a true Saiyan because it takes every little bit and piece in your body. The cells, your hair follicles, the blood that's flowing through you. That's what makes you a Saiyan. And Zamazu just wasn't a Saiyan. And Vegeta beat his ass to the point where Zamazu and Goku Black had to do a little fusion. Beow, to create the ultimate fusion of Zamazu, and he was that blobbish creature with the white hair. I don't even have a Funko Pop of that guy. I don't even know if they're going to come out with a Funko Pop of that guy. But what we are going to do is take Goku, Black Goku, out of the box and do a little investigation. There is a uh, huge jumbo or version of Black Goku too. 
that they were selling at Hot Topic. I don't know if it was a common or a Hot Topic exclusive. Whatever the case may be, I wasn't going to get it. I kind of learned my lesson with getting the big, freaky Funko Pop 6-inch or Jumbo Pops. You know, except if they're black lead or a specialty edition or something like that. Or from Naruto or One Piece. Meh. All right, and here he is. And look, I'm not going to lie. This dude is pretty banging. You know, out of all the common versions, I would probably say he is the best looking. I love that he has a scythe with his energy. He's got, you know, the Ponera earring in one ear. That's what he did. He used the Ponera earrings and they fused. It wasn't a fusion, ha. Huh? It was a Ponera earring fusion. Bloop. Uh, and he is cool. Uh, you know, he looks like Goku, just with pink hair and a little costume change. No. I can't say anything bad about the guy. I want to say something bad about the guy. Uh, yeah, he got some time ring on his finger. I don't know. Do I keep this guy? Do I return him? I don't have a black Goku, so I might have to. You know, and Amazon sent him in a, you know, a protector in one of those cardboard boxes. They did a good job. The box doesn't look like it's messed up. If I had to give this guy a rating out of a 1 out of 10, I would probably give him about a 7. You know, most Funko Pops, you know, don't come up with a weapon accessory. And this guy does come with a weapon accessory. And Entertainment Earth, I do believe, had a glow-in-the-dark version of the Black Goku. Which I'll probably, next time when I go to the mall, I'll check out, um, what is that store? Come on, everyone. Write in the comments what that store is so it would help me. Uh, FYE, FYE has, uh, some of the Entertainment Earth Funko Pops and maybe they'll have the glow-in-the-dark version. And if they have the glow-in-the-dark version, I'm going to have to put him down and say, Bye-bye, Black Goku. I have the glow-in-the-dark version. But, you know, look. For right now, he's cool. And you know what? We got to give this guy an up or a down. But before we get to that, I want to say thank you very much for everyone who likes, subscribes, and, you know, watches my channel on a daily basis. I know I'm not too popular in the YouTuber world. There are plenty of people out there. But what I don't do, which I see in a lot of videos, is argue with the person next to me. So if you like non-argumentative and fun YouTube Funko videos or something else like that, don't forget to subscribe to this guy right here. And let's get up to them ups and downs. I didn't forget. All right, Amazon, I am going to have to say your shipping and packaging is definitely going to get an up. And then we have to throw in the guy sensei, the glow. Come on, Chalice Collectibles. I cannot forget about you. The glow is a medium meh. I'm going to give you an up because who can't give guy eight gates an up? If I didn't give guy an eight gates form an up, if there was a down, uh, there is, I forgot, there is an up and there is a down on my videos. I would say give me a down, but I gave one up. And then Black Goku coming in from Dragon Ball Super, Zamazu taking over Goku's body. I'm giving you an up. And one more thing I want to say that was really crazy about when Zamazu took over Goku's body. When he murdered the shit out of everybody like Chi Chi and Goten. Yo, that was probably vicious. That was vicious as shit. That, that's, all, that's all. My name is Aaron. Thank you for watching me with 8 Minutes with Aaron. I will see you next time. I am late for raid and I need to tank that snake. You have no idea what that means, but I do. I will see you later.